Hi, I'm going to talk about the uh, Marvel Overpower card game expansion set, Power Balance. This is a fan-created set by uh, Alex from Australia. And um, 48 cards come in a box, just like a deck you would buy like 15, 20 years ago. They come sealed in plastic, like you'd probably buy like a video game or a box set of DVDs or something. Very nice and has a pull tab so you can unwrap it like a pack of bubblegum. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read the back for you guys. Welcome to Overpower Power Balance, the latest expansion to the Overpower Collectible Card Game, including a slightly altered rule set in addition of missing cards, including character, power, universe, and tactic cards. Power Balance provides a more logical and balanced way to play Overpower. Breathe new life into Overpower with Power Balance. Overpower lives once more. Features New character special cards Includes 10 missing characters listed in location cards and 3 character remakes Galactus, Warlock, and Angel 10 which receive new special cards Increases usefulness of location cards which list these characters So uh, yeah there's some old card location cards that didn't have the uh, 6 playable characters because they were never printed So this fixes that on some of those Um New character point value system. Point value system now more accurately represents character usefulness, allowing competitive use of previously unplayable or ineffective characters. Introduction of multiplayer as a recognized power type. Requires stats in all four power types to use, giving more options to characters with good overall stats but poor primary stat. Introduction of multi-power universe teamwork and tactic double shot cards, providing even more options to multi-power playing characters, further aiding in character balance. New and improved tactic double shots. Double shot cards now do not require use with one specific power type and can also be separated to make two attacks to maintain card advantage. Remade Marvel version any power cards. New rulings increase usefulness of any power cards, allowing construction of teams of characters with power grids that don't have to match. Modified home base rules. Home base teams have added restrictions for balance purposes, which in turn make previously ineffective or weak home base teams more competitive. And finally, modified battle site rules. Battle site rules now have modified rules for KO and, and hits to battle sites no count for venture total. Let me go ahead and open these up. Find that little pull tab here. Things right here. Oh no! What did I do? It'd be a lot better if I just had one hand I didn't do film with. and fancy. Okay, we've got instruction booklet. Nice and black and white, just like the old school ones were. It unfolds all uh, big. These are on his website. His website is uh, oppowerbalance.net. point value for every character in Marvel, I think. Which I think you can probably apply to some uh, DC or image characters, too. Okay. Got a checklist here of stuff I'm going to talk about. Um, so, we've got 
48 cards, and they were 25 plus international shipping. It took me about a week to receive them, and yeah, I'll go ahead and take these guys out. is just like the old ones. I'll flip these guys over. We've got an uh, expediter. May place and play warp chamber aspect. We've got a Galactus. It counts as 27 points for tournament deck building, which differs very much from the standard 24 points that he usually is. Claw. Lizard. Power cards are plus one when used to attack. Mephisto. Sauron. Multi power power cards are plus two when used for defense. Shatterstar for the uh, Mojo World home base. May not be cumulative KO'd with fighting power cards. Silver Samurai. KO'd. Silver Samurai may continue to fight and is not discarded until end of battle. That's pretty neat. Viper may play any Hydra or non one per deck Serpent Society special cards. Warlock. This is the uh, any character deal with the devil, which is one of the lost promos. Abomination special. Blink. Oh, I didn't go the characters. More characters at the bottom over here. Okay. We've got Blink. For Age of Apocalypse, I think. Abomination. Which is a wonder he was never really in the game. Angel. I never had just a vanilla card. Mm. Got, I think that's all the characters. Is it a special for Blink? It's a DG. Expediter. You can put a little trademark right here on his card's name. Let's see it. Noah Dubois. Claw. Lizard. Fisto. There will be a link so you can uh, read the cards if you can't read them here. Sauron. Shatterstar. Silver Samurai. And Warlock. This is his first special card, even though he was a promo towards the end of the game's life. Available in a certain magazine. Double shots. You can change the, uh, the way they must be used. One through, combined with a 1 through 5. Used to be a specific 1 through 4. But now it can be a single attack or separate attacks. Or defenses now. Defenses are new. So we've got all these. can bring some fun to the game because uh never have been really used. Coating is very very glossy. I like it. Got these guys. Modok and Spider Man, that's funny. This is a multi power. It's a five and a four. Combined with a one through eight. 
And then here's another lost card, the Avengers ID card. And here's a very interesting card, uh, only available in the image set, the 5 multi. This 5 any power was a promo. The 6 um, any power would have been a uh, JLA card. I'm not sure. I'm trying to having trouble remember if it's a promo or not. This is an eight. Was only available in image before. It's a multi power teamwork. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of these. A five. And finally, another one of the lost cards. And, uh, a six plus. Any uh, any power teamwork with a zero bonus. So I'm gonna look at other cards, other sets. We've got a uh, inaugural set. Card lights glossing. Light is on the gloss. So. Same back as these ones. As these new power balance cards. Got a uh, power surge. Mission control. Pretty sure it's the IQ card. Our chain looks really bad in this picture. Worse than uh, Kristen Dunn's right there. Got a funny metal card. I know I'm showing you these. Classic card. X Men. Image. A Batman Superman. A JLA. One of the Toronto guys' cards. Power Legions. So, uh, let me just take the, um, take this guy from the Power Balance set. So, I'm just gonna look at it myself right here. So, this coat. This coat looks very similar to the Toronto guy, so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say it's the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah, we'll get this one. Yeah, I can't really tell the difference between many of these cards. The codes are pretty much like these. These are all pretty much the same right here. Of course, these three are going to be different. Like in my previous video, I stated these three are pretty different. The uh, inaugural set, X Men, and then Legions. And here, I'm just going to say that these cuts are pretty much the same. So, yeah, they look very fancy. They're very uh, high quality. Nice cardstock. Nice thickness. I'm not. bend on them. Nice and bouncy. It feels about the same. Maybe these are a little thinner. The official cards are a little thinner. I'm gonna put one of these over power balance cards inside a Ultra Pro. Sizes. I'm going to take the uh, double shot and compare it to a double shot from the classic set for color. 
so you can see. It's a little different, but you can tell he was kind of going for that. His is on top, and the original classic version is on the bottom. So he wasn't trying to go for that color. Kind of tell it's just purple. It's a different tint of purple. The font over here is pretty much the same. Tactic. You've got the uh, tactic artifact over here. It's a nice color that you can just kind of get used to. It's very similar. You want the camera to focus on it better. Yeah. Looks kind of like the same red to me. I like his uh, Indie Gang logo for the balance. Can't have one without the other. So yeah, this card's going to be very interesting to play with. So yeah, his, his website is uh, over power, no, OPPowerBalance.net. Thank you.